today I have about 50% of my net worth invested in REITs. This may seem crazy to some of you, we've always been taught to diversify and having half of your eggs in one basket sure seems risky. But we all have unique circumstances and in today's video I'm going to explain to you why I think that this unique REIT heavy approach makes sense for me. Hey everyone, this is Yossi, I run a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing and in a short moment I'm going to give you six reasons why I'm investing so heavily in REITs. But before I get into it, could you please do me a huge favor and like this video, that really helped me a lot to grow this channel, thank you so much. So the first reason here is quite obvious, I have a high tolerance for risk and I have a long investment horizon. Both of these factors should really be pre-requirements if you're going to be overexposed to one specific sector. I really don't mind volatility. I've seen my portfolio go down significantly several times in the past and this really doesn't scare me. I'm investing today for the next many decades to come. I don't need this capital today and therefore I feel like it's counterintuitive to try to minimize volatility. I could of course lower the volatility of my portfolio by including things like tech stocks to it but if I don't know much about this sector I fear that this is just going to increase the long-term risk of capital losses. But while I don't care about volatility I very much care about my expected returns as well as the passive income that I can earn along the way and this brings me to my next point. The second reason why I'm investing so heavily in REITs is because I'm seeking to maximize my total returns all while earning high dividend income. There are not many sectors of the market that offer both at the same time and REITs are arguably the best. Historically they've generated some of the highest total returns of every sector of the market. They've beaten growth stocks, utilities, energy and so on. Most REITs have earned 12 to 15 percent average annual total returns all while paying significant dividend income. While I don't necessarily need this income today, it still matters to me because it helps me to stay patient, especially during times of volatility, and it also provides me a steady stream of liquidity to buy the dips. I also don't want to be fully reliant on capital appreciation to earn my returns because this is much less predictable than the dividend income that's paid to me on a quarterly basis. Then the third reason why I feel comfortable investing so heavily in this one sector is because I feel like REITs are a lot safer than your average stock. Businesses come and go, but good real estate is here to stay. It's an asset class that's absolutely essential to the survival and the prosperity of the human race. Try to compare here the risk profile of starting a new business versus buying a rental property. Clearly your odds of success buying a rental property are going to be quite a bit higher than those of creating a new business. Now take this a step further, even if you invested in a pre-existing business that's running really well, the odds that this business is still here 30 years from now is much much lower than that of the rental property. And so now let's take this concept to the REIT level. REITs will typically own hundreds or even thousands of properties. They're widely diversified, they're professionally managed, they're conservatively financed and therefore it's very hard to mess it up over the long run. It's a far safer business to collect rental income from a diversified portfolio of high quality real estate than to operate almost any other kind of business. So yes, I'm investing 50% of my net worth in one specific sector Sector, but this sector is far more defensive than the average and therefore am I really increasing risks? Then the fourth reason is that my specialty is real estate and I want to stick to what I know. I was born into a family of real estate professionals. I've been going from one construction site to another my entire childhood. Eventually I went to study commercial real estate investing in university. I paired that with the education of the CFA program. Then I eventually landed my first job in private equity of real estate in Texas and finally I became a REIT analyst when I realized that this was my true passion. I could of course invest in a bunch of other sectors but if I don't know much about them I fear that I will risk overpaying for something that I don't fully understand and this could actually increase my long-term risks. I would much rather operate in a smaller niche in which I'm an absolute expert and deal with a bit more volatility if that's the cost. This niche for me is listed real estate and specifically the REIT sector but could be just anything else for you. Then the fifth reason is that the REIT sector is very vast and versatile and therefore while it may seem like I'm putting a lot in one single basket I'm actually able to diversify really well within this basket. There are over 200 REITs in the US alone and they invest in over 20 property sectors. This includes billboards, timberland, farmland, apartment communities, single family homes, data centers, cell towers and so on. 
then there are also 30 other countries that also have REITs or REIT-like entities that are publicly listed. And so there are a lot of companies that share the REIT corporate structure, but they really have nothing to do with one another. As an example, the fundamentals of a self-storage REIT in the US like Big Yellow really has nothing to do with the fundamentals of a hotel REIT like Host Hotel in the US. So this is a vast sector and you can diversify really well within the real estate business. And then the sixth and final reason perhaps the most important today is that I think that REITs are offering a historic opportunity for long-term oriented investors and I really don't want to miss out on it. They've crashed over the past year and they are now priced at their lowest valuations since the great financial crisis. It's not uncommon today to find REITs that are priced at the 30, 40 or even a 50% discount to the fair value of its assets. To give you a simple example that I like to use often on this channel, BSR REIT owns a portfolio of apartment communities in very desirable rapidly growing Texan markets and yet today it's priced at 60 cents on the dollar. The REIT has a great management team, it has a good balance sheet, it's buying back stock. There's really no major red flag here but share price has crashed and now it's discounted. If I offered you today in the private market the opportunity to buy an interest in a portfolio of apartment communities located in Austin, Dallas and Houston at 60 cents on the dollar, you'll probably jump on the opportunity. And yet for reasons that I ignore, such opportunities exist today in the REIT sector and yet few people are paying attention to it. But it doesn't take a genius to understand that buying good real estate at a large discount with fair value that's conservatively financed and professionally managed should be lucrative over the long run. Quite a few studies have actually been made on this topic, looking at the returns of REITs in the periods following the times when they were heavily discounted and the returns returns have been extremely strong. The investment firm Janice and Henderson recently came up with one of these studies and I'll put a chart somewhere on the screen here but you'll see there that REITs are really lucrative in the years following crashes as they recover. I don't want to miss on this chance and so I'm heavily investing in REITs today. I made a lot of money investing in REITs following the great financial crisis as well as the pandemic and I don't think that this time will be any different. So by traditional standards it may seem that I'm taking a lot of risks and that my portfolio doesn't make much sense. However, when you take all of this into account, I think that this unique approach really makes a lot of sense for my personal circumstances. Why would I invest in things like tech stocks just for the sake of diversification when I really have no edge in this sector? I would much rather focus on my circle of competence and heavily invest in what I know, especially given the opportunity that we offer today. But remember that we are all different. Just because I'm investing so heavily in REITs doesn't mean that you should. You have a different risk tolerance, you have a different time horizon than me and so on. Now if you want to access my entire REIT portfolio feel free to join my REIT newsletter for a two-week free trial. I'll put a link to it somewhere in the description of this video and once more if you thought that this was valuable it really helped me a lot to grow the channel if you click on the like button. Thank you so much for all your support and see you at my next one. Bye-bye.